The latest civil aircraft are facing new thermal challenges. New generation engines are higher performing but produce more heat. Replacing aircraft structure metallic parts with composites reduces natural energy dissipation. New systems are installed in reduced physical space. So improving and anticipating the integration of hotter sources throughout the design process is crucial to deliver better aircraft more rapidly and with reduced environmental impact. From the start in late 2013, in a collaborative environment, the European project Toika gathered architects, design actors and suppliers to provide solutions that are swifter and robust. In other words, accelerated trade-offs that better secure preliminary designs. Coordinating and exchanging data is at the heart of the Toika project. That substantially reduces the risk of late changes and costly overruns. Working together, partners share data to optimize thermal behavior patterns and the impact of each new component. Large plateau meetings in Toulouse, Paris, Naples and Marianne near Marseille allowed us to demonstrate our new ways of working in an industrial-like environment and test this more efficient decision-making process. This chart shows you for all the equipments the status with respect to the requirements. So the part on the left is the requirements. Solutions developed by Toika have the potential to transform the way architects are managing design. What is special is that you can see the results, simulation results, performed by somebody else, and you can look at them within the context of your own work and make your own decision using the results provided and created by a different team. Big plus is to have all the information that you need at the same place at the right time. By operating new collaborative trade-offs and by deeply integrating the thermal constraints into multidisciplinary design processes, Toika results will reduce the costs of aircraft development for the complete supply chain and induce positive effects on weight and aircraft fuel burn, mandability and operability. This is completely new. No such capability exists at the moment. It could save aircraft manufacturers time and money, potentially shortening the lead time for the commercialization of new aircraft by several months. It would also help to reduce the risk of thermal issues later on in development of aircraft where troubleshooting comes at a much higher cost. For Thales' point of view, we have two main interests in the Toyka project. First interest is to evaluate the new cooling technologies that are emerging that we need for the cooling of hotspots, particularly uh, processors. And on the other point, uh, as all the, the supply chain is impacted by the thermal issues, this collaborative project will permit to have a better collaboration to improve the designs and reduce uh, the time to get better uh, designs and better performance at the end. Toyka is tailored for the latest technology available, including 3D virtual reality. That's one reason why the European Commission is fully behind this project. Toyka is co-funded by the European Commission Research Innovation Programme, which has a number of priorities. Two of the most important of them are competitiveness and the environmental impact. Toyka, in fact, contributes to both. So over the last three years, uh, researchers from academia, industry and research labs contributed significantly towards uh, design tools that will enable architects to take decisions faster and that will lead to aircraft, new aircraft designs with much lower environmental impact than we have today. Toyka has made huge research advances. Data sharing is now part of our DNA. Now we have to make sure that all partners, industries or research centers are able to transform this new way of working into an everyday reality. But thanks to Toyka, so much has been achieved in just three years already, which will ensure greener next generation aircraft will be delivered to market earlier with a more robust and efficient design process.